Thank you for choosing the CSRD Compass. Let's partner up to achieve full CSRD compliance. Meeting CSRD requirements, a step-by-step -step guide, the CSRDCompass.com. In today's business world, sustainability reporting is not merely a trendy term but holds significant importance in the contemporary business landscape. If you're wondering how to implement the CSRD for your company, this quick guide will walk you through the process step by step. 7 Steps to Achieve Full CSRD Compliance In this short video, we present 7 steps to achieve full CSRD compliance, a quick guide that outlines the key actions and considerations for businesses to ensure compliance with the Corporate Sustainability Reporting Directive and embrace sustainable practices in today's evolving regulatory landscape. Step 1. Understand the scope and requirements of CSRD. The first step to achieve CSRD compliance is to gain a thorough understanding of the directive's requirements and the scope of the CSRD that is applicable to your organization. Please take a look at our blog Demystifying CSRD, timelines for companies for detailed explanation on the implementation timelines for different types of companies who must comply with the CSRD. You can find the link to this blog is in the description of this video. You also need to know what kind of information you're expected to disclose. The CSRD requires companies to disclose material sustainability information by following the European Sustainability Reporting Standards ESRS. 1. General Disclosures Companies must disclose high-level sustainability information as outlined in the standard ESRS 2. General Disclosures, especially the double materiality assessment process. 2. Environmental Matters this includes details about your business's impact on the environment, such as greenhouse gas emissions, water and air pollution, and waste management. Companies must always disclose sustainability information required in ESRSE1, climate change. Additionally, they should also disclose material information following a rigorous double materiality assessment process for other environmental standards. E2, pollution, E3, water and marine resources, E4, biodiversity and ecosystems and E5, resource use and circular economy. 3. Social matters. This includes detailed disclosures on sustainability information related to social matters, including human rights as outlined in the four ESRS social standards. Specifically, companies must always disclose several matters, disclosure requirements S11 to S19, related to its own workforce following the ESRS S1, own workforce. For other social matters, companies will apply a rigorous double materiality assessment process to identify and disclose other material sustainability information. These matters are related to other key elements in the four standards, S1, own workforce, requirements S110 to S117, S2, workers in the value chain, S3, affected communities, S4, consumers and end users. 4. Governance matters. Although there is only one governance standard in the ESRS set, which is the G1, business conduct, companies will have to report on various sustainability matters. These include corporate culture, management of relationships with suppliers, anti-corruption and anti-bribery measures, political influence and lobbying, protection of whistleblowers, animal welfare, and payment practices, especially with regards to late payment to small and medium enterprises, SMEs. Step 2. Identify the key stakeholders. Stakeholders encompass individuals or groups with the potential to influence or be impacted by a company's activities. It is crucial to acknowledge that certain stakeholders can fall into both categories, as their interests are affected by the company's activities while also utilizing sustainability statements for decision-making. To effectively demonstrate compliance with the CSRD and ESRS, companies must recognize the significant role of stakeholder engagement in their double materiality assessment process and overall sustainability reporting endeavors. Step 3. Conduct a gap analysis. Once you understand the requirements and have identified the key stakeholders, the next step is to conduct a gap analysis. This involves assessing your current sustainability reporting practices and identifying what's missing or needs improvement to meet the CSRD requirements. Step 4. Develop a plan. Based on the findings of your gap analysis, develop a plan for implementing the changes needed to achieve full CSRD compliance. This plan should detail what changes need to be made, who will be responsible for implementing them, and a timeline for when they should be completed. Step 5. Implement the plan. This is often the most challenging part of the process, as it requires sustained effort and coordination across different parts of your organization, 
and sometimes different countries if you are reporting sustainability issues in a consolidated management report. As you implement the plan, remember to communicate regularly with all stakeholders about progress and any obstacles that arise. Considering that the CSRD is new to everyone, it is worth considering the use of external service providers to assist in the development and implementation of your plan. External support can bring fresh perspectives and provide additional resources. Step 6. Monitor and review. Once you've implemented your plan, it's important to continually monitor your progress and review your sustainability reporting practices. This will help you ensure ongoing compliance with CSRD and identify any areas that need further improvement. Remember, CSRD compliance isn't a one-time task, it's an ongoing commitment. Step 7. Report Assurance and Publication. It is crucial to emphasize that CSRD reports require external assurance from independent service providers. Finally, after all these steps, you're ready to compile and publish your CSRD report. Ensure that your report is clear, comprehensive, and in line with the requirements in the ESRS-1, General Requirements. Don't forget to make it accessible to all relevant stakeholders, from employees to investors to the public. Moving forward, embracing CSRD compliance is a powerful statement of your organization's commitment to transparency, sustainability, and corporate social responsibility. While the journey towards full CSRD compliance may be complex, the rewards are manifold. By meticulously following this guide and persistently striving towards your sustainability goals, your organization stands to not only meet regulatory requirements but also fortify its reputation, enhance stakeholder relationships, and contribute meaningfully to a sustainable global economy. Thanks for watching. We look forward to welcoming you in the next one.